Hey guys, um, so today I'm going to be doing an update on my duct tape stuff. Um, now the reason is because last time I did have music playing in the background. Now I swear that was very annoying. So, um, this is the update, um, so I thought you guys might enjoy it. Alright, let's begin. Okay, to start out, um, I do have a green with pink. Um, another green with pink. A, another green with pink. A pink with green. Red with white. Red with pink. Orange with blue. Blue with blue. That just be blue. Um, blue with purple. It's very sloppy. Black with purple. Blue and silver. Blue and red. It's just so puffy. It's hard to grab. And I have black with yellow, red with blue, white with blue, and purple with yellow. Okay, so these are my braided bracelets. Um, I do have chain bracelets, but they're not here with me right now, so I'll just show you my braided bracelets and I have a chain. Okay, so first off, I have this blue with red. Um, this is in a tutorial, so if you want to learn, feel free. Um, a clear bracelet. Yikes. Um, black with yellow, purple with yellow, um, I have a red, white, and blue chain. It, I just have extras, um, so I was making a chain bracelet, so. And then I have this chain that I did, which was blue and black. So, okay, now these are actually made out of big paper, um, Yes, first I'm going to show you my paper wallets. So, yes, first off, I have a book book. Um, and that's up here. Oh, and if you're wondering, um, again, these papers are big. Yeah, yeah so that's this wallet. Um, Moving on to the next. This one's probably more life sized, but more realistic. And then this one I just covered with duct tape. Awesome. Oh, and I will do a time lapse video on this. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, it's not completely duct tape, so if you were wondering. into Naruto, as you can tell by my wallet. So, um, uh, now moving on to the duct tape wallet. Um, again, this one's <laughs> one of the worst I've ever made. Um, I really do not like it. Um, inside there's card pouches, but it's really hard to find them because they're so dark. Um, I don't know if you can see them. There's one, like, right here. I did not counter this accurately until it looked very sloppy. And yeah, I need pouches, of course, right on the front. And it really is bad. It's horrible. I, I don't like it at all. No sympathy for it. Yeah, so that's that. And that's really bad. I don't know what you would call it. Um, but yeah, I, I did not intend for it to be this small. Right now, it can't even fit a card. Well, it could, but if you fold it, you're just going to fold the card. Okay, they're not bad. Yeah, they're going to fold correctly. But, um, I actually wanted to do it like this. But that's just not going to work, so obviously you can't fill bowls with another card patch. 
But yeah, so um, there is a tutorial I did do for the belt. Um, same concept here, really bad, don't like it. And the card slot's not supposed to be like this, but uh, make sure a wallet if you need one. Let's get that out. There is a secret pocket in here. As long as you will hold here with another card. Oh my gosh. What a sloppily made. Is that even a word? Sloppily? I don't think it is, but see how bad it is? You don't even need a real word to describe it. Um, this used to be my personal wallet until I got a new one. Oh my gosh, I can't spin that. But, um, it has an ID pouch. Okay. Right there. There, it does fit actually, but I just didn't want to waste time. Billfold. Another card pouch. And, of course, um, a secret pocket. But yeah, so. Oh. Dorito's wallet. I really don't like this one. Too bad. I do not want to show you this wallet right now. A Ziploc coin pouch. Did not know how to make them at the time. I was new to the realm of duct tape. Actually, I wasn't that new, but I never made a wallet before, so don't expect any great stuff, okay? I don't know if this even fits. Oh my gosh, it fits! And there's a secret pocket in there. But yeah, so that's that. Now you can see why I do not like this wallet. Ugh. It's, in, it's an embarrassment. Um, I'm thinking of removing the ID slot and just giving it a new one. Other than that, this one is one of the greatest I've made. ID pouch. There will be more card slots for this one. I just haven't made it yet. Okay. Um, woven on the outside. Uh, it's a regular on the inside, just regular fill fold. Um, yeah, and um, which I don't think this even really fit. They fit in there, but it don't. So, those are pretty much, um, these are all my wallets that I have. Okay, I got obsessed with making coin pouches. But yeah, okay. So first off, I have an orange with red. Um, nothing special, nothing on the back. Um, it opens up a Velcro flip. Nothing inside. Nothing to see, nothing to do. Um, I'm just gonna throw this one away. It's so sloppy. It's tiny. What do you expect from it? Okay. And it's falling apart. But yeah, Velcro clip. Um, orange with red. That. I think it's supposed to be a sunrise pattern. Not quite sure. Yeah. Yeah, so, and then I have this one, and this one got really well used, actually. I don't even think it fits a card. Let me see. Eh, eh, nope, no cards. But, um, so yeah, so. Nothing on the back. Um, this pink with white one. I don't think it does for the card. Yep, yep, what do you know? That's a card. Um, it does have this like, little clip on it, I don't even know what. Um, this was to go with that blue and gray wallet that I made. It has a woven pattern on the front. Yep, the end of it. Um, and this is like my favorite, and this goes with actually one of my wallets that I currently use. Um, I like the red and blue pattern, as you can tell. And, oh 
yeah. How do I even have this? Um, paper fan. Okay, so this is my other stuff. Um, and this is, um, a cupcake. Yeah. Yeah, not, not funny anymore. At all. Nice. Um, I have a lot of flowers, but they're probably not down here, so, yeah. Um, this is my first ever duct tape flower. It has a squish. I don't know. There was a thing. Stop it. There we go. Um, I think it's still right. It's still right, but, um, yeah, so that's the pen, and, I um, I do have this woven mat that I actually made a long time ago. But, um, so now I'm going to show you one of these. This is my first ever painting I did out of duct tape. Um, it's just all made out of duct tape. Um, yeah, so it's kind of fruit. Um, so I just kind of wanted to make something. I, I was bored, so. Um, this was the third thing I made. This is, and I use cardboard. This is sloppy. I can't believe I ever did this. It's just because the corners aren't even enough. Yeah, and this was um a while back ago, but I still like it. Like a month or two ago. Still gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. Um but yeah, so it's a rainbow pattern. So I kinda like it. Um but yeah. Well, that is all I have to show you guys. Well, thanks for watching. Okay, so that was my duct tape stuff, and that wasn't quite all of it, because I forgot my flowers. But yeah, so, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, comment, rate, and subscribe. If you didn't, comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you're in the middle, please, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, but yeah, so, if you did enjoy this video, you can check out more on this channel, or you can go check out my other channel, Paper Girl 017, she'll be here. Um, but yeah, um, so, I, don't know. <laughs> But, um, so, yeah, so, that was all. And I, I will promise I will get my, um, flowers in so I can show you guys that. But, um, so that's all. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye!